好，接下来看到是雅虎改朝换代了。美国雅虎公司十三号宣布，第二季公司的并购程序完成之后，原董事会成员麦金尼会接任执行长，而原来的执行长梅尔将获得股票收益以及现金，折合台币约七亿元的天价资遣费。雅虎正式改朝换代，原董事会成员麦金尼将在收购程序完成后取代原执行长梅尔。Yahoo CEO Marissa Meyer isn't going to be walking out of that job empty-handed, according to a company filing. Meyer is set to receive a 23 million dollar severance package after she steps down as CEO. 梅尔的资遣费包括现金三百零二万美元，股票收益两千万美元，再加上约两万美金的红利，总共约两千三百万美金，约合七亿台币。公司被并购后，剩下的部分连名字都要改。After its sale to Verizon, what's left of the company will be renamed Altaba. Yahoo! 一九九五年由杨致远跟大卫费罗共同创立，一年后就上市，全盛时期市值超过一千三百亿美金。The dot-com burst was the beginning of the end for Yahoo. Stock dropped from $118.75 to just $4.06. Yahoo 一路走下坡，直到二零一二年找来在 Google 工作十三年的梅尔接手。For me, it's God, family, and Yahoo. 梅尔力拼转型，打造手机 App， 大手笔收购布洛克平台，也改变公司风气。但还是挽救不了颓势，终于在二零一六年底把核心网络事业卖给 Verizon。各自泄露事件后被砍价，更是一大重击。But after Yahoo revealed it had been hacked multiple times, Verizon decided to cut three hundred and fifty million dollars from its purchase price. Because of the data breaches, Yahoo's board did not give Meyer her annual bonus for 2016. Verizon 最后敲定以四十四点八亿美元，约一千四百亿台币收购 Yahoo， 一代网络巨擘。就此走入历史。TVBS 新闻综合报道。